MDMA, also known as ecstasy or molly, can strongly increase feelings of social connectedness. But what is it doing in the brain to make this happen? In 2019, Stanford neuroscientist Boris Heifetz set out to answer this question, and he found a lot of answers. He first showed that when you give a mouse MDMA, they will choose to spend more time hanging out near another mouse instead of being alone. And interestingly, an even stronger effect was observed when both mice were on MDMA. So we know that MDMA increases the levels of three neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. And what Dr. Heifetz found was that when he gave the mice MDMA but blocked its ability to increase serotonin levels, the mice no longer showed this social enhancement. In contrast, blocking dopamine had no effect. MDMA still made the mice social, suggesting that MDMA enhances sociability by stimulating serotonin signaling in the brain. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what about oxytocin? Interestingly, he showed that when he blocked oxytocin receptors before giving MDMA, the mice were still just as social, suggesting that oxytocin probably doesn't play a key role, at least in this test. This is one of my favorite papers, and I might be biased because I do get to work with Dr. Heifetz and I also study MDMA, but I hope you'll agree that it's pretty awesome. Thank you for your interest, and please follow for more neuroscience.